Lydia Dean Pilcher has produced over 30 feature films. She's now in post-production with The Reluctant Fundamentalist, directed by Mira Nair. In 1999, Lydia and Elizabeth Cuthrell produced the cult classic Jesus Son, starring Billy Crudup and Samantha Morton. Elizabeth produces film and theater projects and is now in production with Vara the Boon, written and directed by Ken C. Norbu. What happens when you pair two passionate first-time filmmakers like Karen and Marilyn with two seasoned, brilliant producers like Lydia and Elizabeth? I had met Karen and Marilyn during the Tribeca All Access program. I was mentoring that year and kind of had sworn I wasn't going to take any scripts home because I'm always, uh, I always get seduced. And uh, as I was leaving the meeting, they slipped me this little script that was about this big that I could <laughs> There was no way I could say I can't take that with me. And everybody in my office read it and loved it. And it um, has become a real passion. Marilyn is such a flexible writer. She's really willing to rethink and, and fix moments all the time. Very thoughtfully can shift things and, and keep working it and moving it and to where it needs to be because the scripts evolve so much. It's changed a lot over the time that we've been working on it. Yeah, we love working with her. She's mm -hmm. a wonderful writer. I'm very excited to work with our director, Karen. She has this wonderful energy, both in her approach to working with the, the kids and all the auditions that we've done, and also um, some photo shoots that I've been with her and teenagers. Teenagers love her. She's someone who actors will really respond to because she has an openness and a, um, a curiosity about people. And she's incredibly organized. At an early meeting, she brought a script that she had already color-coded all of her, her shots, like this shot list in, and I just thought, if I'm going to invest money in any movie, and I'm going to raise money for a first-time director, this is the girl to go with. What speaks to me about the story is uh, the fact that, you know, I'm a mother, Lizzie's a mother, mm -hmm. and we have girls, and our kids are what I call digital natives. Uh, they've grown up knowing nothing else except Facebook and MySpace and the internet and we're living in this big experiment. What's it going to be like 10 years from now when we look back to see what their formative years were growing up in this digital culture of social media? You were talking today about how do we allow them to be independent and safe. It was also an interesting part in our process when we decided to give a creative discipline to each one of the girls. Mary is a photographer, and then we have Catherine who really expresses herself through fashion. Lavinia is an amazing piano player, and Emily, aspiring to be an actor. And through that self-expression, it's a way that they connect to themselves and and to us. And this screenplay is so much about connection. Then Karen and Marilyn had the idea of a teen art contest as a way to reach out to teens and bring that energy back to the project and that's just been an amazing, amazing thing. What I love about Kickstarter is that you are able to connect with your audience you know before you make the movie. Being on this end of it I now see the, the sort of the pleasure uh, and satisfaction that our backers are getting by being able to choose to support a project that they want to see. And it's really informed our creative process in a very interesting way because there's a more direct connection with the audience before you start. That's yeah. never happened before. Yeah.